Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is a traditional styled Christmas card featuring Tim Holtz's Holiday Greens and Festive Greens mini die sets. But to start off with, I'm going to be die cutting this Merry Christmas die from Elizabeth Craft Designs um, out of some white soft finish cardstock, and I'm going to be using glitter on it. So I'm going to be putting glitter on the cardstock before I die cut it out so that when I die cut it out, it'll basically be a sticker that I can just um, apply glitter all over. <laughs> so I've peeled back my adhesive sheet and I've pressed down the cardstock face down onto the adhesive and I'm just trimming it out so I can save all the extra and just trimming off any extra like adhesive -y pieces so it doesn't stick in my die cutter unnecessarily. And then I'm gonna be die cutting that Merry Christmas face down onto the adhesive. So adhesive up, die face down. And I'm gonna run it through my die cutter here in a second. And I can't show you that, but I'm sure you're familiar with how that works. So it has been die cut out now. And I'm just gonna weed out all the extra bits using my Spellbinders tool in one um, to get it cleaned up and get all the extra pieces of paper out of the die since it is a pretty intricate die. And you can see that the uh, brown paper, which is the side that had the adhesive on it, is where the sticky is. So when I peel it back, it's all sticky on front. So this is like the backing sheet that I'll be peeling back. And I don't want to touch the adhesive. So I'm just going to peel back a portion of this and then I'm going to sprinkle glitter on it. And then I will hold that part that has the glitter on it to put glitter on the rest of it. Now this is Elizabeth Craft Designs Silk Microfine Glitter in Champagne Gold. I cannot say enough good things about their glitter. Um, you may know I am on their design team and when I was got on their design team, I was sort of like, I don't know, I have a lot of glitter. Do I really need to get more of their glitter? But I have to say I'm totally converted. I love this glitter. I'm burnishing it right now with my fingers. So I'm like rubbing it in between my fingers and then here I'll rub it down. I'll finish rubbing it down with my finger on the, on the craft mat here. And it's so fine that it doesn't feel like sandpaper and it's super shiny and it comes in the most pretty colors. So that's my endorsement for their glitter. Um, now my flowers and my centers I cut out from the Tim Holtz festive or sorry holiday greens mini uh, die set from Sizzix and that is Gina K Designs red velvet cardstock and then some gold mirror cardstock and then the rest of the foliage comes from the mini holiday greens die set also from Sizzix and I use that as Lawn Fawn's Noble Fur right there and there. And then the dark was Gina K Designs Christmas Pine. And then this is Gina K Designs Grass Green cardstock. And then the tan is Gina K Designs Craft cardstock. I love her cardstock. And so to add berries to my little crafty branches there, I'm going to use some Tonic Nouveau Drops in Red Berry. And so I just basically, like, squeezed it onto all the little circles that are cut that the die cuts i loved the color i thought it was perfect for christmas so i just set that aside to dry and it went really nicely with the red velvet cardstock that i used um, on the card and then this is the tim holtz texture fades embossing folder called birch and i'm going to take my ground espresso mini distress ink and i'm going to very lightly run it over the embossed lines and sort of details that this folder adds to your paper. Now I'm avoiding the middle because I don't want it to compete too much with the Merry Christmas that's going to go in the middle. But I'm trying to hit all the high points and there are a couple knots that I kind of spent a little extra time getting in there because it just adds some cute detail to the birch. And now it does get in between the lines a little bit here and there, but I, I liked that. I thought it actually added to like the realism of what like birch bark or since I live in Colorado, aspen bark looks like. And now I trimmed it down to four by five and a quarter and then I'm I'm going to adhere it down onto a piece of A2 size Gina K Designs red velvet cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this whole panel is going to be adhered to the front of a um, horizontal top folding A2 size white card base. And there's my sparkly Merry Christmas. And now I'm going to just start adhering down all my die cut pieces. So the center of the flowers is going down in the center of my flower. I guess that's a poinsettia. I'm not really sure. I'm going to call it a poinsettia. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? 
Now this one I cut in half and I did cut a petal off of this flower, the second flower, and I folded it over to give it a different shape. I, I all, almost always try to do that when I'm making sort of floral accents. I usually like to have like a solid one that would be sort of the focal flower or maybe several solid ones in a focal area and then have like a one or two that are different and smaller that I've somehow altered to just add some visual interest. And this piece I cut apart. This was a die that was cut out of the Lawn Fun Noble Fur cardstock, as is this. So I'm just adhering all this down and then I'm going to um, fold the petals around a paintbrush to, just to give them a little dimension here and there. I do that a lot. And then I'm just deciding how am I going to place my little berries to finish off this corner. And again, I'm using Zig 2A glue pen on this and it's perfect because you just, if you use the squeeze one, you just have to dot it in place to get glue out and it holds it very, very nicely. And I'm going to, like, I encourage you, it's, these dies are really cool and really fun, but I think it's a, it's even more fun when you can alter them in some way and kind of change them up to make them look different. So as you notice, like in my composition, the upper left is the bigger, more um, important, I guess, a sort of group of foliage. So I didn't really alter that. I kind of left it as is, although I do cut this holly leaf apart. And that's the grass green cardstock and to like kind of arrange it differently around the poinsettia. I'm kind of making sort of these are functioning, I guess, kind of as their as the leaves for the flower. And then in the lower right, I'm making that a less important bunch. So it, it continues the theme, but it doesn't compete you know, it's not like a mirror image or it's not competing as like so much with the upper left. The upper left is definitely more important than this lower section on the right. And it's kind of a good tip when you're doing these sort of corner um, accents on cards is to make one more important than the other for like an asymmetrical design. Now you certainly could, if you wanted to um, do a mirror image, which would work, but I'm a, I'm a fan of asymmetry I guess so hence why I have kind of like purposely like trimmed down or cut apart some of these different um, dies to make them a little bit less important than the upper left and as I mentioned earlier I really really like altering flowers um, in way dies in order to make them look a little bit different so I kind of like that folded over effect of that lower flower just to kind of, it finishes it off nicely without being too, uh, competing too much with that, the solid one in the upper left. And so really, you know, very easy to put together. There's just a little bit of trimming and, you know, uh, maybe the hardest part is probably like being patient while you die cut out all the various <laughs> different little dies in this, these amazing sets. But I think Tim Holtz makes it super easy to use them as is, and then also to alter them subtly to create your own um, interesting creations. He's just um, really, really amazing that way, as we all know. <laughs> now, again, I'm going to use the Zig to a glue pen to adhere down my Merry Christmas to the center. I'm going to just put my, my acrylic blocks on, on here to keep that in place while it dries. And it dries pretty darn fast. And the card is basically done. So I love the sort of glittery Merry Christmas against that rustic birchy background along with the sort of natural foliage look. I, I think it turned out really great. I really like it. Um, and you know, as I mentioned, not too difficult. I think this is one that could potentially be assembly lined. You just have to have a little patience when you're cutting out all your different pieces of foliage. But other than that, really, really easy to put together and I think really pretty for a nice traditional Christmas card. So hopefully I've given you a little inspiration today. Thanks so much for watching. Supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. If you liked the video, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And here are two more Christmas videos I've done in the past. Thanks so much. Have a great day.